Now, what about depression? How does depression lead to higher blood pressure? Similar to stress and anxiety, there are lots of ways that you can be depressed. Maybe you have just been diagnosed with a serious medical, medical condition that can cause depression. Maybe you just had a difficult baby that can cause depression. Maybe you just have a major accident that can cause depression. Uh, maybe you've been having some relationship problems. Maybe you're having some financial problems. If you really want to be depressed, there are a million ways that you can get depressed. So what happens when you are depressed? Again, the body interprets that as, uh, an, as an emergency, emergency situation and the sympathetic nervous system is activated. So that means your blood pressure, your heart rate goes up, the heart will be beating more forcefully, your blood vessels might constrict, and your blood pressure goes up. So, and how long are you normally depressed for? How long do you have a feeling of depression every day? Now, for some people, for they might feel depressed for every hour that they are awake. And even that, they do not sleep a lot either. So when you are depressed, your mind is too busy, you cannot sleep. That means your blood pressure will remain elevated for a prolonged period of time every day. And what if you are depressed for months and years? then your blood pressure will remain elevated, will remain higher for months and years and it would gradually worsen. So that is how stress, anxiety and depression cause higher blood pressure.